All right, so this artist that we're gonna learn this week, I think you guys are gonna like just as much, maybe even a little more than the Paul Klee stuff. So today's artist, his name is James Rizzi. Can we say that together? James Rizzi? Yep. And he was an American born artist, go USA. And he was born in 1950. So that is a few years after World War II ended. And he lived until 2011. You guys, that means that he was alive during almost all of you um, during your lifetime. So we are definitely talking about a contemporary artist. So what is notable and special about James Rizzi? First and foremost, you can't think of James Rizzi without thinking about silly. He was an adult that did not take himself too seriously. He liked to be playful. All of his art was fun and yeah, just fun and silly and whimsical and very childlike. So I think you guys are gonna really love it. So when we talk about his style of art, technically it falls under the pop art category. It's bold, it's vibrant, um, and he often took the ordinary and made it the focal point, just like all the other pop artists. And actually today's lesson, we're gonna take an ordinary set of buildings, ordinary, not ordinary. We're gonna take a set of buildings and we're gonna put a James Rizzi spin on them. So the thing that's notice, notable, <laughs> I can't talk. The thing that is notable about James Rizzi is not so much his lifetime. When we were talking about Paul Klee, it was really his life that was interesting and impacted his art, his art so much. But for James Rizzi, the thing that I really want you guys to take away from it is how contemporary artists work as artists, like as their job. So when we're talking about artists that lived a long time ago, oftentimes they would just paint or sculpt or draw or whatever it was, that the, whatever medium that they liked, they would often just do what came to them, what moved them, what they liked, what they were feeling, what they were going through, right? But contemporary artists, well, they, they definitely still do that. Contemporary artists, artists that live now or very recently, actually live their professional careers much differently. And oftentimes they work on what is called commission, which means when a business or an organization or just a person or group of people, they find an artist who they really like their style and they say, hey artist whose style I really, really love, I would like you to make me blank, fill in the blank. And this happened a few times in in James Rizzi's life, and the most notable one probably being the 1996 Olympics. He was the official artist for the Olympic Games. Which was a huge thing, and they, again, they came to him and they said, we just really love your style, will you make these things for us? And he did, and it really put his name out there and made him famous. He also made album covers for our bands. Um, and actually, you wanna know a little fun fact? Even though he worked very differently than him, one of his biggest inspirations was Paul Klee. And after you see his stuff, you can kind of understand why. He really loved that color. Um, he really liked how he played around with his style. And even though he didn't really copy him at all, they don't have similar styles. When you look at a Paul Klee painting and you look at a James Rizzi painting, you wouldn't think that they're anything alike. But it's kind of cool to know that artists that we study, they studied the other greats too, right? So today, with all of that being said, we are gonna take some ordinary buildings and we're gonna put a James Rizzi spin on it, okay? You guys wanna see? All right, so this one, 
my lovely little fifth grader that you guys, most of you know, Emma made this one. And I'm gonna walk you through it. So we're taking buildings and we're gonna make some fun little faces on them, make them colorful and make them a little James Rizzy twist. You guys ready? Let's do this. Okay, friends, here we go. I've got my drawing paper. I've got my Sharpie. And I am going to start by drawing a series of rectangles to um, be our building. So I'm going to start over here all the way on our edge. And I'm going to make one that starts about halfway up the page, just straight across and down. That will be kind of a bigger building. Then next to it, we'll make kind of a skinnier, taller building. Okay, and then how about over here, I'm gonna do one kind of in the middle. And see how I left a gap there, right? I'm just gonna connect those somewhere. Maybe there's kind of a shorter building down here, okay? And then I'll do kind of a taller, skinny building. And maybe another tall one, super tall. I'll go a little further. All right, and then how about one like that? Okay, so we have the basis of our building. So next, we're going to add the tops of the buildings. We want to have some fun on top. So um, how about we're going to make this one kind of look like a uh, tiered cake, right? It's got lots of layers on the cake. That's kind of fun, right? Um, how about on this one, I'm going to make two triangles. So a big triangle and then maybe a little triangle. You could do them both the same if you wanted to. Um, how about on this one, I'm going to make a bunch of little triangles, which are really just upside down V shapes, right? I'm not even putting the bottom on it because it's already there. So I'm just drawing little upside down Vs. It's kind of fun, right? Um, maybe over here, I'm going to do um, maybe another triangle. Maybe I'll put a little circle on top of it. We're really working out all of our shapes. Okay, let's see, what else can we do? Maybe well, let's give something with some um, kind of tall sides. So we'll do tall rectangles on both sides. Maybe even, I don't know, put a triangle on top of those or a circle. And then maybe I'm going to do like that. Again, there's no right or wrong. It's just whatever looks good to you. Um, maybe this one I'm going to do a real low triangle because I'm coming kind of close to the top of my page there. Okay, so we need one more. Hmm, I kind of like that stacked birthday candle look. So maybe I'll do something similar to that. I'm going to make another line across and then another one and another one. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe, you know what, I'm gonna put a circle on there. Why not? Okay, so here comes the fun part. We have our buildings kind of laid out, but now we get to do some fun, silly faces. Um, so I'm just gonna start left and work my way. So on this one, this is a nice wide building. So we have the space to kind of make kind of a wider face, right? So I'm gonna do, Maybe I'm gonna make this one look like a kitty cat. So I'm gonna do an almond shape or a little um, half moon or a rainbow. And then I'm gonna do one on the bottom as well. See that? I'm gonna do it again. Little arced line and another little arced line like that. And then inside those, I'm gonna do another little curve and another little curve and a little dot in the middle. Okay, do the same to the other eye. Curve, curve, dot. Okay, so let's give this little guy, um, how about a triangle? Upside down triangle nose. And how about a mouth? We'll kind of make a fun one. So let's make a rectangle, just like that. And I don't know about you guys with kitty cats, but my kitty cat has pretty sharp teeth. So I'm gonna put in some kind of crazy sharp teeth in there. Maybe a little tongue down there, and it's not a kitty cat without some whiskers. So we'll put three little whisker diagonal lines on that. That's looking pretty fun, right? <clears throat> all right, next, let's go on to this real skinny one. And for some reason with all these rectangles, I just think it would be kind of fun to do some rectangle eyes. So I'm gonna do long 
skinny rectangle lines. You know what those look like to me? They look like the buildings or the windows on the skyscraper buildings, kind of. And we could even make the, the pupils and the eyes even kind of straight. That's fun. Um, how about, I'm gonna repeat those two little dots for the nose. And then let's give them a big smile like that. Real silly. Maybe the little smile lines on the end. And I'm gonna give them some fun little teeth too. Kind of like a jack-o'-lantern teeth or something. Isn't that fun? Okay, so moving on, how about we go to this one? And again, we have a nice kind of wider space. So I'm gonna make one maybe with some glasses. So let's see, we'll get big circle and a big circle. They don't have to be perfect. And a little curved line in between. And then I'm gonna do a diagonal line off to the edge and then another diagonal line off to the edge. There are my glasses. I might even go inside and do another circle for his eyes. And maybe we'll put the pupil there down at the bottom. All right, so now we can give him a fun nose maybe. And how about a big mouth that has a tongue sticking out? We can even, here, we'll connect to that mouth. How's that? That's kind of fun. You can even add little curved lines like that. All right, we're coming along almost halfway there. Okay, so how about for this one, we're gonna make it look a little more feminine, a little more like a girl. So I'm gonna add kind of some curved eyes. And again, you guys can make whatever faces you want. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing making some little curved lines like that. I might even make another one. And let's give her some little, here, I'll go like that, give her. See that? Now she's got, instead of doing the pupil as black, I colored in the rest black and left the pupil of the eye white, okay? And I'm gonna give her some cute little eyelashes. It's kind of fun. And a little triangle nose. And then how about for this one, we can do some lips, which is just like an M. I don't even try and make my M too perfect because lips are not perfectly symmetrical. And then a little thing like that going through it. We could even bring this up a little more, make it a little more fun. Again, these are just suggestions on faces. You guys, please do get creative. Um, all right, moving on to the really, really, really skinny one here. Let's see what kind of funny face we can do. How about, I'm gonna do just little, little lines for eyes. Maybe we can even put a little circle on the bottom. And then how about a couple dots as noses. We did that over there, but I think that'll work just great for here too. And then this one, I'm gonna make his mouth open like he's like yelling. He's starting to look a little mad, but maybe he's being silly. There are his little crazy teeth, a couple little rectangles, and then maybe a tongue, which is another one of those kind of M shapes, kind of like we do the lips. So he's kind of fun. All right, let's see what else we can do. Um, how about, we don't have any square eyes yet. So how about for this one, we'll do some square eyes. I can do one square, whoop, and I'll do another square. And then how about his eyes are gonna go right in the middle. So I put two lines just like that, two lines just like that. And then I'm gonna color in a square in the middle, see? See how we got that? And then just color in that center. All right, so we've got that. <clears throat> and hmm, what kind of nose should we do for him? We don't have a square nose either. So how about we make a rectangle or a square shaped nose? And what kind of mouth should we do for this one? Hmm, how about a big jack-o'-lantern mouth? So we'll do, I'm just liking these teeth for some reason. I think they're super fun. So we'll do two on the top, bring it down, one on the bottom. 
And again, you guys, if you want to start this in pencil and then go over it in, in marker, that's totally fine. Um, whatever you're most comfortable with. All right, last one. And how about we give some triangle eyes? That would fit kind of tall, skinnier triangles, right? Um, and then how do we want to do the eyes? Maybe I'll just do another little line like that and maybe another just dot. And you know what, for this one, I'm going to give a couple eyelashes, which is kind of funny. And I'm also gonna give some eyebrows, okay? And then I'm going to give a little, maybe upside down triangle nose. And then how about a big grin like this again, but we'll do teeth just straight lines and then straight across. And there we have it. We have our basis of our Rizzy Fun Buildings. Now, to color this in, I want you guys to be totally creative. Just don't forget the background. We want to do something in the background. You can use marker, you can use crayon, you can use colored pencil, you can use watercolor, anything you want to decorate this and color it in. And I can't wait to see what you guys make. Okay, so. For you older students, now is the time where we can go in and add just a little bit more detail and kind of bring this to the next level. Um, one thing that we can do is adding some doors and windows and other little details. So again, be creative. Um, you don't have to do it exactly how I'm doing it, but it's just gonna be a series more of rectangles. Um, so I'm gonna do, let's say, kind of a traditional door here. I'll do one like that and a little door handle. And then how about, I'm gonna mimic his mouth or the cat's mouth and make a window just like that. And maybe I'll make it into a, kind of like that. And maybe just one more little square down here. Cool. And then how about for this one, I like the idea of kind of repeating that same shape in the eyes coming down. Again, don't worry about these being perfect. This is not something that we need to use a ruler for. We just wanna freehand these. And then maybe the doors are kind of low and wide like that, right? Um, this one, he's kind of low, so we're just gonna leave him alone. And then how about for this one, I'm going to do kind of some wider windows. Maybe I'll even go like this. That's kind of cool. And then maybe another set of double doors that are kind of big and grand. Yeah, maybe a rectangle window over here, maybe a rectangle window over here. Again, just adding some details, okay? Um, again, let's give this one, he's only got one door, right? Still opens like that. And then how about um, a window, kind of like a traditional four pane window right there. And then how about for this one? Hmm, how could we do these ones? Let's do another big rectangle. Maybe just for fun, we'll do some diagonal lines on this window, why not? Or maybe it's just some decoration on the outside of the building. I'm actually gonna do going back and forth diagonal lines, why not? And then we'll do some really crazy big doors. I might even put a window at the top of the door. Yeah, two handles. All right, last but not least, um, how about, I'm gonna mimic what is going on, which means kind of repeat what's going on in the mouth. So let's do, can you hear my dog whining in the background? He wants me to give him attention instead of be doing this. All right, and then how about this one is just one big wide door, and then we can even give a couple of little long windows in between. All right, so there we are. Now we are ready to color and decorate. Oh, actually, you know what we could do if you wanted to? You can add some, like for these triangles, could add some little um, details 
uh, maybe a little line of polka dots. Um, maybe this one has like a candle on top, right? Just adding some little details, maybe put some little lines across the top there. Uh, maybe a couple down there. Again, just adding some details. Mm, what do I wanna do over here? I might just leave that one alone. All right, there we have it. Can't wait to see what these turn out like with color.